Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. We have a pleasant surprise in the workshop today. We have the first working version of a firmware for the USB POV toy. The POV toy is a persistence of vision device, one of those things where you wave it back and forth and it spells out words or makes a pattern. There's a lot of them out there on the internet and we studied a lot and kind of came up with our ideal version. We've been developing the hardware for about a year now and the hardware worked right away in the first revision but the problem was the firmware seemed to be really tricky and hard to get everything to work satisfactorily. So it's taken a while and a lot of small incremental steps and starting and stopping to get it done. But today we've got this workable version and I wanted to show it to you and also discuss the POV toy a little bit. So this is the best example so far. It's supposed to say hello world, but it's going to need quite a bit of tweaking to get the timing exactly right and to clean up the accelerometer data. This is the basic POV toy hardware, the version 1 prototype we've been working with. It's got a, a PIC chip that does USB communication. So when you want new patterns or new words programmed into the POV toy, you upload them over USB. And they're stored in an EEPROM chip, a memory chip, uh, that will go here. I haven't populated it yet. Uh, this is different than a lot of POV devices because some of them you have to compile in the different uh, words, or some of them you have to uh, compile it and program it to actually get the new patterns or words into there. And here you just upload it over the USB connection with the simple app that we'll write. Really, the, the key, though, to the POV toy is the accelerometer data. That's what sets it apart from most others, is it uses an accelerometer to track the motion back and forth, and it syncs the start of the pattern when you're moving your hand back. That way it stays aligned to your hand, and you don't have to hit a certain fixed uh, frequency to make the pattern look right. It'll look right every time as it syncs to your That's hand. That's been the hardest part of the firmware to get down is the syncing to the hand motion. The accelerometer data isn't particularly clean, so we've had to use some filters to clean it up, uh, some averaging, some other stuff. And then once we have clean data, then we have to actually determine where we are in space and hit it at the right time. Next, we're going to work on using timers to sync the pattern better and sort of average it out over time. It looks like we're getting really close to having a firmware for the POV toy. And once it's done, we'll put it into manufacturing right away. But first, we need to test the second prototype, which is this one. Uh, we've changed the shape of it so that it's actually got something to grip onto and hold as you wave it back and forth. That's sort of a problem with the first version is there's no way to do that. Uh, also, we added a small lithium poly battery charging circuit so you can use a battery and, and attach it behind the board and charge it from the USB uh, without taking the battery off. So once we build this and test it, we'll put this into production. Uh, I would imagine this is going to be available in just a couple months. That's time. it for today. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week to test five different types of flux. Uh, we've got syringe flux and pins and different types of liquid and paste. And we'll test that out on QFP chips on our experimenter board. See you next week.